Yes, keep the home fires burning. They did that. Here at Heligan, or Heligan as it is known in our villages, my uncle, William Guy, was working as a gardener when war was declared in 1914. He was just 18 years old, and with his friend Fred Painter, who worked as a stonemason, he joined the army. Along with some of the other outdoor staff, they pencilled their names into the plaster onto the Thunderbox wall. That was their nickname for the outdoor toilet, and added the date, August 1914, the day war was declared. Keep the home fires burning while your hearts are yearning, though your lads are far. I'm told there was quite a jamboree when they all left Mevigizzi. People sang and cheered, as though they were setting off on an adventure that would only last a few months. Few realised then how devastating that war would become. Thirteen of the outdoor staff enlisted, working alongside my uncle and Fred Painter, there was William Hunkin, Albert Rowe, Charles Ball, Percy Carhart, and William Perry, all labourers. And there was Keeper Turner, the gamekeeper, Leonard Warren, an engine turner, Archibald Smalden, a carpenter, and John Varley. John Barron, Charles Dyer, all gardeners. Through the dark cloud shining, turn the dark clouds inside out till the boys come home. A song for Will is a story that tells of the sacrifice that Will, Fred and those brave men of Cornwall made. It's told through the letters between Alfie, a fictional errand boy who was too young at the time to sign up, and Fred Painter, writing home from the front, and who longs for his life back at the gardens. They mention Will often in their letters. Having left the coast of Cornwall, family and friends at Heligan behind them, none of us today can begin to imagine the horrors they had to face on the brutal battlefields abroad. The war lasted not a few months, but four long years. Many didn't come back. Some did. And a song for Will is not just the story of my Uncle Will, of Fred Painter and Alfie. It's also the story of every village, town and city in the country during the First World War. But war was never their inspiration, nor glory their end. A century since, back here at Heligan, ordered and restored, Children running free can touch upon the things they cared for that took them away, of what they saw as duty 
as love and as peace. Yeah.